right there. Oh my god, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. They, oh! He just breached twice! I just, there, 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 on video. Oh my gosh, I zoomed in. Right there. I got him, I got him. Look at the size of that fish. I got it. Oh! All right, so I'll tell you what. Today was not a good day fish-wise. I must have gotten, what, three, four fish total? Not a day for the books this day. Now, as I was coming back from fishing, it got me thinking about something, uh, about something that happened to me actually right here about a year ago. So there's a marker right there which divides this massive shipping channel that ships pass through all the time. It's one of the most trafficked channels in the whole world, actually. And uh, what happened here, I will not forget in a million years, you know. All right, so me and a friend of mine were actually coming back from fishing. It was a super foggy day. And uh, there was a big ship that had run aground here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a big reef here. And uh, ships all the time, every year almost, uh, a ship will actually run aground there. Uh, you know, if they... I don't know how a ship runs aground there. I mean, there's a huge channel to stay you know, inside of, but... Uh, but that one day, there was a Russian ship that was coming through, and apparently the guy had had a bit too much to drink. So he fell asleep at the wheel, this is like 3 a.m., hits that reef, and he gets stuck. Next morning, you got the whole Coast Guard, everything out here, you know, damage control, diving in, checking the wreckage. You know, I'm coming back from fishing, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool ship. So actually I zero in and I, and I align myself with the ship. What happens then is this, I can't even describe it. I mean, we're talking 600 pound to 1,000 pound fish leaping out of the water, you know? And I thought, swear to God, I thought it was a dolphin at first because I can't imagine these fish being out here and being so bold in the way they present themselves. Now, obviously, if you didn't know, uh, this strait uh, was actually a huge uh, tuna fishing capital of the whole world actually. Back in the you know 50s and 60s they were catching you know thousand pound fish right here where I'm pretty much sitting in the water right now. They were catching these massive fish but that's the way it was and tuna was the species that was found here. Now what happened I mean obviously this, this giant sport fishing pressure you had people coming in from all over the world and these fish were just totally fished out. I think they caught the last one at, you know, 1969, something like that. These last couple years, people have claimed that they've seen it. There's been no definitive, you know, videographic or photographic proof, but there's been tons of sightings, of, you know, uh, every once in a while in September and October, you know. You know, these fish are here to feed, you know, they feed off the mackerel, the herring, uh, all kinds of stuff, and they're here to eat, which is why they're so bold in the way they leap out of the water, which is how you see them. You can't see them unless they jump, which means that for every fish that I see jumping, there must be at least 10 to 20 of them underneath, which means I think we've drastically underestimated the amount of tuna that are here, that come through here. I think it's hundreds, if not thousands, instead of tens of them, that, that or dozens, right, that they're claiming. I think the schools are much larger than people say. But anyway, so we were watching these fish for a good hour and a half. You know, me and my friend got some incredible footage. I'm actually gonna show you the footage now and I think it speaks for itself. These fish were very far away, but even still, they appear so big. You know, it's like a mini cooper jumping out of the water. It's quite incredible to see. Enjoy this and uh, not every day is a good day here which is why I'm standing here telling a story about, you know, bluefin tuna instead of catching a, <laughs> a 20 pound cod, you know? But um, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, I'm gonna go, so I'll see you. Yes, yes! Oh my 
got that right? That was two! Oh, again? Dude! There's so many of them! It's gotta be at least half a dozen. I saw two on that video. Oh my! I got him! I got him! I got it!